reporting for ESCCAS.com. I'm with the Slovenian delegation, so Zala and Gaspar singing your song Sebi. Welcome to Tel Aviv. How has it been so far for you? Uh, it was great. We really liked the hotels. We practically didn't have time to see the city, but we will do that in the following days. Xala, come to you. Uh, how has been the rehearsal for you this morning? Was everything okay? Do you plan on changing some things when you get to the stage? Uh, actually, it was great. I thought it wouldn't be so <laughs> good. Uh, and the stage is amazing and it's so big and cool. Uh, the techniques here are like the best. Uh, and it's great to work with such a team and we really like the experience and we really like that it went as it did and will not be changing almost anything uh, just the visuals uh, like but even that just like some uh, uh, you know finesse and stuff so there's a big romance going on between you two I'm gonna delve into that so tell me how you met and what's the future hold for both of you what do you hope for uh, we met via Instagram okay. uh, and you know uh, her, my friend sent me her Instagram video because I was uh, searching for a singer uh -huh. uh, and we met and actually we started working together uh, one year later when we had like amazing idea for our first song. Okay. And for you? Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, the thing is that yes, we are in love, but our, the thing that we have... That's really obvious. <laughs> The thing that we actually want to do, you know, is make music together, so um, like knowing each other well and um, all the feelings are helping with the music, but it's not our, like, we don't want our love to be our selling point, you know? Uh, yeah, the thing is that we are exposing ourselves already so much uh, that our, you know, uh, our love uh, is of course seen in music also because that's us but we kind of try to make this as private as possible okay. so we share yeah we share our experience and our aha music through metaphors in our music we're all here in Israel to dare to dream what would that mean for you um, Uh, the thing we want is actually to, you know, just have a nice flat somewhere along the sea and have a nice calm life and do what we like to do and that's actually creating music and not media attention so much. Okay. So what we learned so far is actually that we want less of this and more of music making which is like super private process for us okay so touch on the music making what's for the future for you is there an app plans for an album to come out what can we expect from that are you going to be writing together still or do you think you maybe bring other songwriters in and take the things in a different direction tell me about that uh, we'll definitely keep uh, writing songs ourselves okay. uh, it's the thing why we do this in the first place yeah. Uh, and if we don't do this, we just don't do this at all. Uh, so, yes, there is uh, an album coming up, uh, and we have amazing idea how to, you know, create a further red lining, uh, which we are already threading through our four songs, which are out already, uh, and it's kind of, you know. Uh, it will be, each song is about an era of our path together. So if you actually look at the metaphors, you can see our story. And we'll keep doing that and we will, you know, create some kind of a closure, but keep an open mind for the future. That's a great note to finish on. Thank you so much for your time. Get outside and enjoy the sun in Tel Aviv. Go, go swimming, go surfing, have a great time here. And good luck with your next rehearsal in a few days' time. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.